Problem 7.32. In this problem, there is a steel strip which emerges from a hot roll section of a steel mill with a speed of 20 meters per second and a temperature of 1200 Kelvin. The length, the thickness, the density, and the specific heat are provided. We need to determine the time rate of change of the strip temperature at a distance of one meter from the leading edge, as well at its value at the trailing edge. We also need to determine the distance from the leading edge at which the minimum cooling rate is achieved. This problem assumes constant properties, it neglects radiation, as well as the conduction inside of the strip. It is also assumed that the critical Reynolds number is equal to 5 times 10 to the 5. Let's just start the problem with a balance of energy. The amount of energy going in minus the amount of energy leaving plus the amount of energy generated has to be equal to the change of the energy that is stored. In this case, we have no energy that goes in or no energy that is being generated. The amount of energy that is leaving the system is equal to the amount of convection that is being lost, which is equal to H times twice the, the surface area, since we have top and bottom, and the difference between T and T at infinity, where T is the position at every point with respect to X. And then we have the change in the store is going to be equal to D with respect to T, which is equal to rho volume C dt dt. Please note that the amount of the volume is equal to delta times the cross-sectional area. If we substitute all these values into this equation, we could find that, that the change of the temperature with respect to time is going to be equal to negative 0.119, the value of the convection coefficient at position x. Let's now do the evaluation at the position of x is equal to 1 meter. If we evaluate the Reynolds number at that position, we find it to be 2.62 times 10 to the fifth, which is less than the critical value of the Reynolds number. Therefore, the flow is going to be laminar. For a local value of the Nestle number in a, lo in a laminar flow, we're going to use equation 7.23, which is equal to Nestle number. It's going to be equal to 0.332 Reynolds number to the one half product number to the one third. And this is valid because the product number is greater than 0.6. For this nozzle number and the values that we have, we get the convection coefficient at point uh, x equal to one meter to be equal to 8.29 watts m square k. Therefore, we see that the change of the temperature with respect to time is going to be equal to negative 0.987 kelvins per second. Notice that in this case, the temperature drops about one kelvin per second. We know that it is going to be dropped because the value or the change of the temperature is going to be negative. We're going to follow the same process at the trailing edge. In this position, the value of X is now going to be equal to 100 meters. We calculate the Reynolds number at that position, and we find it to be equal to 2.62 times 10 to the 7, which is greater than the critical value of the Reynolds number. Therefore, the flow is going to be turbulent. For a local value of the nozzle number and turbulent flow, we're going to use equation 7.36. The nozzle number is then defined as 0.0296 the Reynolds number to the four fifths and Prado number to the one third. Notice that this approximation is valid because the Prado number is between 0.6 and 60. Having this information, we could find that the value of the 
convection coefficient at that point is equal to 12.4 watts mk. And if we substitute into the value of the equation for the change of temperature with respect to time, we find that the change is going to be equal to negative 1.47 Kelvin per second. So notice that at this particular position, the temperature drops about 1.5 Kelvin per second, which is considerably higher than at one meter in which the temperature dropped. It was almost close to one Kelvin per second. The next step in the analysis is to determine the distance from the leaden edge at which the minimum cooling rate is achieved. This cooling rate the minimum of this cooling rate will be taking place right before the transition takes place. Therefore, the value of the Reynolds number is equal to 5 times 10 to the fifth. If that is the case, we know the velocity, the value of x, and the kinematic viscosity. We could find that the value of x, and that is going to be around 1.91 meters. So this value is considered the location at which the minimum cooling rate will be achieved. Please go back and double check all the results. Understand why we use each of the different equations for one meter and for 100 meters and understand the difference of how the temperature changes as a function of time at each one of the locations.